and a warning, her report does contain descriptions that you may find distressing. Manipulative and exploitative, relying heavily on the embarrassment and fear of his victims. That's how 24-year-old Lewis Edwards was described in court before being sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 12 years. These are extremely serious offences and the defendant was a prolific offender. He has caused significant harm to the victims, to their parents, their siblings and their wider families. It is clear that he not only gained sexual gratification from his offending, but that he also enjoyed the power and control that he had over these young girls. His reaction to their distress can properly be described as cruel and sadistic. His offending is significantly aggravated by the fact that he was a serving police officer. Edwards posed as a teenager to groom children and used the social media platform Snapchat to threaten more than 200 victims before asking for indecent sexual videos of them. Then, using these same videos against them, blackmailing them to send increasingly graphic material. Are we going to find evidence of you? Engaging in sexual communication with children. No Inciting children to, to engage in sexual activity and sending you pictures and videos themselves. No Indecent images and videos. No the investigation into Edwards was hampered by his refusal to cooperate. But police would eventually find years of sustained abuse he had stored on an encrypted device. As clever a person he thinks that he may have been in order to cover his tracks. We have the skills, knowledge and expertise to identify people who commit this criminality. And we did. So the message that I would also give to everybody else, if you are engaging in this sort of activity, you are to expect a knock on the door from us because we will identify you and we will come and find you. The evidence we've heard over the past few days has been far too graphic to comprehend. But it was the fact that Edwards was a serving police officer that's further traumatised his victims. The police will continue with their investigation and they will continue for, with safeguarding measures. Uh, and if any uh, further evidence comes to light or any further victims are identified, then the matter will be referred back into the Crown Prosecution Service. Edwards will now spend much of his adult life behind bars as punishment for his crimes. But though justice has been served, it still leaves hundreds of young girls who will never get the innocence of their childhood back.